Hey there, y'all. It's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. So how are we this Friday night? It is Friday night and we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun doing a Valentine's craft. Um, so here's the deal. As you hop on, say, Hey, you guys know the drill. Let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching live or on replay, let's do this. I do. I am giving something out tonight to people who do this. So that'll be exciting. Um, so this is something that I'm going to need your help on in a couple of different ways. So at some points I'm going to look up and I'm going to say, what do I do? Because this is going to be a, um, team project okay you guys give me some love if you guys are down for giving this a team effort um i i've not done anything like this before so we're just gonna go for it i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys so if you're hopping on just now um i told you we we're gonna do a valentine's craft and we're gonna do it together so i'm gonna need your help on several of the parts so I will just start asking y'all, is that okay? <laughs> so the first thing I wanna share is that this was a canvas and my daughter recently, she's a teenager. She recently was uh, got all excited about doing um, crafting. I don't know why, I don't know why. <laughs> I should be tickled. So she went and bought this huge stack of canvases and she started doing art on them and she's very talented y'all but on a couple of them she just said she messed up and she, i caught her putting them in her trash if you can believe it so i went and i retrieved these canvases from the trash and told her we can do reverse canvas projects with it we can do reverse can canvas projects with it so I am super excited to do this for the first time with you guys. Now, Reverse Canvas isn't anything new. It has been floating around for quite a while, but it's new to me. It's my first time to do it. So there's that. All right. So she really only, she really only drew a little bit at the top. So it really wasn't even a messed up canvas really, but I went ahead and this is how you do this in case you're new to Reverse Canvas. You literally take it off the back of the frame so I removed some of the staples and then some of them um, were just too hard to get out y'all um, but I, I used this staple remover and I used a screwdriver and a pair of scissors to try to get all of it out and I couldn't and so um, I just I just went to town and ripped the rest of it so when when you open it up it's kind of like Christmas you're like what and this is what's on the other side it's a perfect frame y'all it's a perfect frame. it's beveled and everything it is amazing i'm just being goofy all right so it's friday night we should have fun right give me some love if we're gonna have some fun all right so this is a perfect little frame and first thing we're going to do is paint it. I'm just going to put this canvas over here for a hot minute. We are going to, and this project may take a little while. So I hope you have some patience. We are going to have fun. We are going to visit and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this frame white y'all. I'm going to paint this frame white. So I'm just going to put some, and I'm not using chalk paint. I'm just using this acrylic paint y'all. It doesn't really matter. This is just a fun little project. It's a fun project. Um, that you can do so you can I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I might put it in my entryway I might put it in my living room. I might put it right back in the trash. No, I'm kidding. I won't do that <laughs> But it'll be fun. So I'm literally just gonna paint some white on this picture frame y'all now normally on a reverse canvas to make it really pretty and to cover up any imperfections because this isn't the best wood um, you would want to use a stain like a dark stain and that makes, it makes all the imperfections go away. I'm gonna do the, the outer edge of this too. And you know what? I might put a little towel down for this to dry on because I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the mess I'm gonna make. This is going to um, hold on tight. 
sprinkles. That just means hitting the little share button in the bottom and spreading the love across the internet. So here's a towel here. Hold on. Never fails. A child starts texting when you start uh, a live video. It's just, it's just the way that it goes. So I am, look here, I am almost done painting one half of this frame. And that's good because there's a lot more project to do and I didn't want this part to take a long time because you guys know how to paint a frame, right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so what are you guys doing on a Friday night besides watching me? You're watching me. I'm gonna add a little more paint. I underestimated the amount of paint I needed for this. So I am adding to it. If you guys caught my video earlier today, I was shopping in Target and I picked up a couple things we're going to use for this project tonight. I forgot one thing. Y'all, I went, I had one job. I had one job at Target and I blew it. I forgot. <laughs> do you ever do that? I totally forgot what it was I went in there for. I didn't even get in there and be like, oh my gosh, what was it? What was I supposed to get? It didn't even cross my mind that I didn't get what I came to get. It didn't even cross my mind. So that's how bad that was. I was like, hmm. Okay, we are almost done. I am on the last section. How do I hold this, y'all? This is probably part of the help where you come in. I'm gonna do the side first. That kind of makes common sense. I'm gonna do the last side first. And then I'll get the front part. I'll probably lay it down. Okay, so let me get the front part. And you know what, it probably could have used a sanding too. It's not a very good quality wood, um, but it's still wood. It's not a plastic frame. And uh, I rescued it from the trash, y'all. I rescued it from, y'all are gonna be barking at me about my sleeve, I know you are. Y'all, I've worn this black shirt several times when I've painted with white. <laughs> it's kind of a fun challenge. Are y'all weird like that? It's kind of a fun challenge. I'm weird like that. I hope it's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, see if I can get away with it. That's the, that's the fun. See if I can get away with wearing black and painting with white. All right, y'all, this is the white frame. So we have a white frame and I think it's covered pretty well. Um, there's no, it's not really um, light. It's not really showing through anywhere. It's just a white frame. So really, I'm gonna set it down on this um, towel because I am getting it on me. And I'm gonna move it somewhere else on this table. There's not much room on this table, y'all. My table is full. It is full. Is that Southern for, for, for full? I can't even say it, full? full it's full all right so we're back to the canvas and what I think I'm gonna do just to get started because that frame is still wet hope I didn't jinx myself felt like I got white paint on my sleeve is I'm going to um, just go ahead and cut out the square from around the edges if you guys have any tips for me um, make sure and holler now because um, you think I got some on my sleeve <gasps> Oh my gosh, y'all are right. Look at that. I got some on my sleeve. I'll get it off. I'll get it off. I'll wash it off as soon as I'm done. I don't have my water bottle here. It's fine. Oh, I have water. I have water in this little cup. Y'all, oh my gosh, I have it on my finger and I'm wiping it from my finger to my blouse. Y'all, it's just, it's from bad to worse. Y'all can give me some laughy faces because that's really silly. Okay, first I'm going to wash it off my hands, get it off my fingers, put it on this towel. Is that Southern too? Towel, towel. Okay, so now my fingers are so, sort of clean and I'm gonna try to wipe it off of here. That is too funny. Isn't that funny, y'all? That is like a kid. That is like a kid trying to be rebellious and then look at what happens. You get a little bit of paint on you. It's because I leaned over there. I didn't get it on me when I was painting. I got it on me after I painted when I was just looking at it. I was just looking at it. Okay, I think I got all the paint off. You guys let me know if you see any more paint popping up, but I think I got my paint off. I'm gonna pull up my sleeves, pull up my sleeves, which I should have done to start with. 
and we're gonna scissor we're gonna we're gonna scissor this we're gonna cut this <laughs> I'm all kinds of distracted now what a hot mess okay and I'm just gonna cut this in a square and it doesn't have to be perfect because when I put it back on the frame I'm just gonna glue it to the very back okay it's not gonna have to be um, overlapped again like it was the first time when it was stapled so I'm just literally cutting a square out of it. I mean, I kind of want it to get straight. I'm looking at who all these people on here. I see somebody with my maiden name and I'm like, who's on here? Who's on here watching me? That I already must know because they have my name. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. All right. So we have the square, we have the square, and I'm just gonna start the creation on the square while we wait for the frame to dry. This, it's really, um, it's got a lot of fuzz on it from the, uh, I guess from the canvas when I cut it. So this is what we have. We have the canvas, the one side that she messed up on, and then the side that is, it's almost like an oatmeal color. It's really pretty, y'all. It's really pretty to do crafts on. So we are going to make a, you know what I need? I need a template and I think it's across the room. I need a template. I think, you know what? Here's one. It's right in my, my arm's reach. Hold on. I just don't want to get, I don't want to get pain on me. Y'all pray for me. I'm leaning over. I'm holding my breath, holding my breath. Did I make it? I think I got a tiny dot on me again. I needed a heart, y'all, and I think this heart, I think this heart might do. Let me see. Let me just let me just get some water on my mess again. It it'll come off later with water, y'all. I'm I'm confident <laughs> in a good way. Okay. Woo. I needed a heart shape, but I feel like this is too small. But it'll get me started. And I don't have a pen, but I don't really have to have a pen. We're just going to get started with this. You know what I'm going to do, y'all? I'm going to use this as the template. When I paint the frame, do I paint the inside? Um, I did not. I should paint the inside. That's really smart. Let me get a little more paint and paint the inside real quick of the frame. I, I, got, I got some paint on the front of my top. I hope not. I think those are all just fuzzies from the canvas. They better be. I'm telling y'all. Y'all are going to be like sending me aprons. Did y'all know that people are like sending me stuff in the mail? <laughs> like you need this for your projects. You like, I mean, I feel I'm almost like, is it that bad? Do I need all this help? Okay. We're going to paint the inside. This is a teamwork project. So thank you very much. Whoever, cause I can't scroll up right now, told me to paint the inside. So I'm painting the inside of the frame. So it's not just glaringly obvious when we put this back together that it's um what a mess y'all I should have done the inside first hold on I'm gonna have to wipe my hands in the water because this is a lot of paint I just let my get on my hands okay so now the inside is done too and I'm going to lay it over here to dry. Make sure that wherever my fingers were is painted. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be just fine. Except for my hands. I'm going to rinse those off in the bucket here. My paintbrush bucket. No more painting tips. I don't need any more painting tips. I don't want any more painting tips. I'm not going to paint anymore. Let's put it that way. If I was, if I was thinking that this was going to be a total painting project, I would have worn something else. I would have worn something else. Okay. We're clean again. We are back to square one and somehow I've got stuff on my canvas now. <laughs> okay. We're moving the paint far away, far away. Okay, yeah, no, my shirt's fine. My shirt's fine. And if there's any, oh, like cloudy things on there, I don't know what that is, y'all. And now the water's cloudy. Okay, y'all don't need to sit here and watch me clean myself. I'm gonna use this heart from that heart wreath 
from the Dollar Tree as my template, and I'm gonna just start by hot gluing it down right smack dab in the middle. So smack dab is another Southern slang. Y'all, I've been teaching y'all Southern all day. What all did I tell y'all? I said, hill of beans difference, I think. I said, well, I just said smack dab. All right, so I put some hot glue all over the back of the heart and I'm literally just gonna eyeball for the center. Am I gonna do the center? Y'all, now I don't, <sighs> hold on. I gotta think about this. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing, oh, I did say slim pickings. You're right, Eva, or Ava. Um, so I could do it in the middle. I think, I think I'm gonna do it in the middle. I'm just gonna do it in the middle, y'all. And I like to just eyeball stuff. It's what makes it, um, handmade. It's what makes it handmade. Those are not just Southern terms. All right, tell me more. Okay, so here's where we're at. We have this on the canvas and we're going to start. I got these. I opened them already, but I got these at Joann's the other day. You guys remember me shopping with you guys at Joann's. They were um, on the Valentine's for like 80% off and so here they are. We're going to start literally just gluing these pom-poms onto the heart in a random, random fashion as far as colors and as far as sizes and all the things. So you guys are gonna have to help me figure out where to place them on the heart. That'll be fun. Okay. I think I'm gonna start on the outside of the heart because I need this to be much bigger than the template is. I just wanted to have a shape to go on. And I did bring me a backup stick. Now you guys have taught me, you, my followers are the best. In fact, if you haven't followed this page yet, go hit that little button below that says follow. All right, this is just what you do. You put a little on the back and then you put it up against the other stick and then it should kind of go smoothly. Should kind of go smoothly. And for those of you asking about my gun, it's at southerncrushathome.com slash glue gun. All right. So the first one I'm gonna do is a white one. Just gonna do a white one. No particular reason. Just gonna slap a white one down there. And then I'm gonna go with red We'll see what red gets us. I'm gonna try to keep them in sort of a tight, I want it kind of tight. Um, I don't wanna run out of bubbles. I don't wanna run out of bubbles, but we'll see. And then I'm just gonna do pink and then it's gonna start getting random. I'm not gonna do the same colors in the same order the whole time. I am gonna go ahead with a smaller white one Yay, Cindy. A smaller white one. And then another pink one. Just putting a little dot on each one. Y'all, I hope I'm not running out. I'm gonna start on the outside and that way if I get really low. Well, I think we hey there, I am back. I hope you guys make it back. We are gonna finish this up. Uh, we're literally about halfway through the project, so I'm hoping that you guys can come back. I had um, my daughter calling me over and over and over. So let's try this again. We are going to finish this pom-pom project. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to get started doing pom-poms again. We are on a hot pink one. And then I'm going to do... I'm glad guys that I just did the outside because it's, I'm running low on these pom-poms. I'm going to put another one right here and a pink one ah, falling on me. Yes. I'm so glad you guys are back. This has happens more than I like to admit more than I'd like to admit.
Okay, we are plugging along. I'm gonna do, I, I haven't put any two colors together, but I think I'm gonna use a white one. It looks like I'm only gonna have enough room. I don't know, y'all, we'll have to see. I feel like I only have enough room to do the, the outline of the heart, which then it's a good thing that I did not, uh, what did I not do? It's a good thing that I did not, that I used the template in the middle because then I would have run completely out Okay, I'm gonna do a red one next to the white one, and then I'm gonna do a little pink one, I think. No, I already did a pink one, a little white one. And then we'll see how many balls we have left, and we'll see if we're gonna do the center or not. Okay, y'all, I feel like this needs to be a big ball because it looks weird. I'm gonna take that one off because it's easy, easy to remove them. In fact, I'm just gonna make little dot on this one make it a big ball there we go so here's where we're at we've got the pom-poms on it I don't know if I have enough for the center part but we're gonna see maybe I'm gonna literally just toss them all in the center and see if they see if it works looks like I have enough look it's like a big pile. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. So let me let this heat up a little more. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the rest in here real quick. I'm actually what I'm gonna do is put some hot glue in the center, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to throw all the balls in again. So that'll make really um, quick. That'll make haste of it. Haste of the project. Is that Southern? Haste of the project? Listen, you guys do this again and you was doing a tree and ran out of pom-poms. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. It's, it's tough to run out of supplies while you are doing a project. But listen, you guys are doing this again. I'm so sorry to have to get you guys started again on this, but this is for part two. And I want to show y'all what, while that's heating up, what I'm giving away. So these little things I found at the um, dollar spot in the Target, and I showed y'all these little Scrabble letters um, this afternoon. And this is what I am giving away. And since I had to do two parts, I'm gonna do two of them. So I got several bags. We are gonna do two winners tonight. One from the first video that did this and one from this video that does this. And I have your choice of, I love you always forever. It's really cute. And then um, I have the other one's the one I'm using. I have this one, forever yours, you and me. And it's got some heart blocks in there too. This one has heart blocks in it too. Give me some love for these prizes, y'all. These are so cute. Anyway, the really substantial, nice little wood blocks. So you guys do this and we are gonna see if this hot glue is ready. Okay. The balls are just attacking me, y'all. And I need every single one. Hold on, one went under the table. Good grief. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could it be any crazier? This is Friday night. This is what you get for Friday night. And there is no alcoholic beverages involved. This is just, this is it. This is it. So, all right, I'm going to shove some hot glue on here. And it looks like I'm going to need probably some more hot glue. Not some more, but Okay, there's pom-poms over here on the floor. I didn't even know that I dropped some over here on the floor. Hold on. More escapees. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to town on these. Just gonna go to town on them. Okay, I'm trying to sort of make a sort of a pattern, but not really. I don't know. 
Let's see. Oh, there's not room for all of these pom-poms, y'all. There is not room. Hello, that one can't be right next to that one. Mm. Okay, I've got as many pom-poms on here as, we'll, as it will take. Here's the pom-pom heart. Here's where we, here's where we are so far. This is how far we've survived. <sighs> okay, we are going to see if our frame is dry. No, it's not, but that's okay. We're going to play with it anyway. I'm talking like this so that I don't lose my mind more. <sighs> part twos, part twos. Do y'all know how many videos I have part twos on? Okay. So here is my towel. I'm gonna put it down in front of me. I've got this quasi wet frame. And um, now I'm just being silly. Um, quasi wet, it's a little bit wet. And I am gonna flip it over and we are going to attach our, hello. You know what's wet? The inside, the inside's wet. Okay. So I'm going to take my canvas, thank goodness it's white, cause it's, everything's white on me. And I am going to um, glue it down on the back of this. Yep, I'm gonna glue it down on the back of this. Do y'all have any tips? Do y'all have any tips? Should I like, I need a heat gun, yes. I know I need a heat gun. I keep meaning to order one and then I don't. Or pick one up, I'm sure I could pick one up. I usually order though. I usually order those kind of things, my tools. Um, okay, so I think, cause I just didn't wanna have to pick this back up and set it back down on my canvas, but I can. Looks like I needed to trim this a little bit anyway. So I'm gonna trim this while I'm waiting on some tips. I have been framed. <laughs> Thank you for my the compliment on my gallery wall. If you guys are interested in the template of my gallery wall so you can do one yourself, um, it's at southerncrushathome.com slash gallery wall. And then if you wanna see all the projects that are on here, so many people talk about this cross up here, right above my head, that's over on the blog at southerncrushathome.com. Okay, I trimmed up the canvas. We are literally going to go for it. I'm just gonna glue the, I'm gonna glue the corners. I'm gonna glue the whole thing. Look at me, I'm just gonna glue the whole thing. I said I was just gonna glue the corners. That was not the case. I'm gonna glue the whole thing down so that for the sake of time, I'm just going to eyeball this somehow. And we are gonna hold our breaths. Ah, it's hot, <laughs> it's hot. Yes, I've, I've been known to bring my hair dryer in here for the paint before, that's for sure. You hear that rattle? <laughs> That's those bottles from the other night. Did y'all know I got sick after that video? Ah, with the Starbucks. Okay. This looks good. So here we are. We are coming along. It is crooked, y'all. It is crooked. I'm so mad. Hold on. You know I'm not gonna let this thing be crooked. You know I'm not going to let this thing be crooked. Oh, heck no, not on my watch. So, I am going to unpeel it, put it down. I'm going to re-glue it in the corners. Oh, I will win. I will win this battle. This craft does not have the best of me. I am going to do the four corners like I said. I'm going to flip this around 
and I'm going to set it how I want it. You guys should have told me to put it straight up and down or to, to start this way. <laughs> now it's straight. Now it's straight. Now I'm covered in paint, but it's straight. It is straight. All right, so the next step is my plans were to, um, ah, my plans were to kick this up a notch, right? Who all on here, raise your hand, give me some hearts if you're old enough to know who Emerald, I don't even know how to say his last name, Degrassi, De, anyway, who Emerald is. He would go, bam, let's kick it up a notch. And that's what I wanted to do with this project. You guys are doing this right for these, for these hearts. Oh, look, there's so many more pom-poms. All right, so here's where we're at. I, I won the battle. I got the pom-pom heart on here. And now I am going to add some bling to the middle. Don't you know I'm going to add some bling to the middle? Okay, so I want your help. We got three choices here, y'all. Three choices. I'm going to glance real quick. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that one's probably not a choice. I'm going to hold them up for y'all. Okay. And I want y'all to give me hearts for each one, but the most hearts for the one that you like the best. Okay. So this is one of the bling choices and it's sort of a rose gold with a big fat pearl in the middle. If I can do it backwards. This is that one. I'm seeing some love. Okay. This one is rose gold on the back, but mostly pearls and a little bitty piece of um, rhinestone in the center. So there's that one. And then there's this one that I thought was sort of cute. It is a big fat pearl with some stuff around it. I sort of thought that one was cute. It's the smallest. You guys vote one, two, or three. One, two, or three. That's a lot of hearts for the last one. Somebody says no, no, no. Number two. People are saying number two. There's number two. I'm thinking definitely, I think we can call number one out. We can say that one is out. It kind of clashes y'all. Even though it's rose gold, it's supposed to be a little bit pink. It sort of clashes. We'll just take, we'll just take that one out. So it's between these two. The little one with the big pearl in the center or this one medium two or three second one second one second one second okay I think y'all are voting all for the second one so I am gonna glue the second one down we are going to beat this project at its own game oh it's gonna be so cute this one pom-pom y'all has a little bit of paint on it I don't know how this paint got everywhere, y'all. But you're right, the heat gun would have been the solution to take care of all of it. Okay. I am just giving a generous amount of glue to the embellishment. And then I am holding the embellishment down. <laughs> I'm delirious now, y'all. This project has won. I, I'm sitting here saying that I won the project's won. The project has won. Just lifting it a little because I pushed it too far down. Here's where we, where we are so far. So good. I'm showing you the sparkle. Okay. So here's the, the predicament. The predicament. I don't have a southern word for that. I couldn't decide before we hopped on 
whether or not I should add bling to the edges of the frame or if it was just too much. I can add this bling. How do I get this down here? There we go. I could add this bling to the frame. What do y'all think? So you can see it without and then you can see it with. And of course with it would go all the way around. I mean it would be a lot of bling. We're talking up and down, all around. It would be all four sides. Is that too much? I feel like it might be too much, y'all. I am not adding a bow. A ton of people are saying yes bling. Some people are saying it's fine the way it is. So here's the other embellishment, guys. These little, these little, there's glue everywhere. These little X's and O's for the frame. I'll show you. So this was my idea was to put my finger in the paint again. So can you see the X's and O's? I'm trying to hold it up without putting it on there. But like an XO there and an XO down here. You know, kind of funzy looking. What do you think of this? Jeanette doesn't think it's too much. Jane thinks it's too much, the other one. Um, try it just on the bottom, no extra bling. Maybe top and bottom. These are great ideas, guys. What about the X's and O's? What about the X's and O's? They're cuter. I thought they kind of brought the canvas color together. I know you can't see very well, but there is still kind of a off-white canvas color here. And so, yeah, while there's a lot of white, um, there's still an off-white color, so I thought the X's and O's would be um, kind of complimentary to it. You say no to the X and O, X and O across the bottom. See, I didn't leave enough um, room. So someone's saying do it like this. I don't like that. I don't love that. I, I think that's too, too much in order, if that makes sense. I could do it kind of all wonky. Can you see that without me gluing it down? Oh, right X's and O on the bottom? I don't know, y'all. Y'all got me all kinds of confused. Okay, so we're just gonna put the X's and O's somewhere on the frame. <laughs> I don't like the X's because they really um, are natural in the bling in the middle of the heart. Yeah, the bling kind of does is thrown off. This is the X's and O's. That's why I was torn, y'all, because I was like, well, the X's and O's are a little more whimsical, but the, the bling um, is more elegant. Yes, yes. So with that being said, I don't know y'all. Let me see, what about the X's and O's on the heart? No, that's not gonna work. 